Today we are going to set up polymerase chain reactions, or PCR reactions, using the fail-safe reagent system from Epicenter. The overview of this process is we will first make a master mix, and then we can divide this master mix into separate reactions. Making the master mix is easier because in many cases we'll be pipetting very small amounts of reagents, for instance one microliter of TAC polymerase, and it's more accurate if we can make a larger amount to separate into smaller reactions. This protocol is for 100 microliters of, of master mix. For this, we would add 50 microliters of premix D from Epicenter. This is a two times concentrated solution that contains our um, nucleotides and our salts buffer that will enable the TAC polymerase to replicate DNA in vitro. Next, we add 40 microliters of PCR quality water, which is nuclease free, four microliters of forward primer, four microliters of reverse primer, and then finally, one microliter of our TAC thermostable polymerase. We would then uh, make sure that the master mix is well mixed, then we would aliquot it into separate reactions. We would then add the template DNA. Because the template DNA is different in each, can be different in each of the reactions, we don't want to add it to the original master mix. Setting up the reaction in this way also enables us to leave one reaction tube without DNA template, and this can serve as our negative control. This protocol is for 100 microliters of a master mix, but it can easily be scaled um, by increasing or decreasing the amount of reagents. We're going to set up a PCR reaction with half of the recipe as shown in the, in the um, original screen. So we're going to make a 50 microliter total reaction. The premix D from Epicenter comes as a 2x concentration. And so we will add 25 microliters of the premix D to our to our reaction. So we'll make the master mix first and then we'll aliquot it into a fresh tube. So we added 25 microliters of the premix D. Next we'll add 20 microliters of the nuclease-free water. So this is water for molecular biology. Then for our primers, we'll add two microliters each of the forward and reverse primers. So if you're pipetting very small amounts, I typically put the pipette tip into, into the liquid at the bottom, just so we can ensure that it gets mixed. Oops. Okay, so now our master mix contains the premix D, the water, and the primers. Now we add the TAC last, the TAC polymerase. In this case, we're adding 0.5 microliters of the TAC polymerase. We want to add the TAC polymerase last because the TAC is an enzyme, and so we want to make sure that the, the conditions are, are buffered and at the proper salinity for the enzyme so that the enzyme doesn't fall apart. TAC polymerase is in a, solu a solution of glycerol, which will sink to the bottom of the tube. So when we add it to the solution, before we make our aliquots, we need to mix, mix the master mix uh, gently with the pipette to ensure that the tack is evenly distributed. You can also vortex, but I typically don't like to do this because um, then the liquid gets on the lid and, and whatnot. So we're just going to mix by pipetting up and down with the pipette, but um, don't blow, try not to blow too many bubbles. Um, from the pipette tip. So now our master mix contains the nucleotides from the premix D, the primers, and the TAC. We're not adding template because when we split it into the aliquots, we can leave one of the reactions without genomic DNA template or without DNA template, and that can serve as our control. The control is important because if we don't add template and you still get product, that means that the master mix had some contamination in it. 
So now we're going to make our aliquots from our master mix. And for doing PCR, you'll want to follow pretty much sterile technique. You don't want to, you'll use sterile pipettes. Notice that these pipettes have a barrier filter, so they can keep particles that could contaminate your PCR um, out of your tube. And you don't, when you've noticed when we take up the liquid from any of these tubes, we don't touch the tip to any other portion, and we generally um, keep it in, in the t inside the, the tube, which is, which is the sterile portion of the tube. The outside is not sterile. So right now we've divided up our master mix into two aliquots. So the master mix tube can, can also be a reaction tube, so that's fine. And we can leave um, tube two as our, as our negative control. So this does not have genomic DNA or any sort of DNA template in it. To tube one, however, we can add our, our template, which is 0.5 microliters, a very small amount. So we're going to add our template from here. So now we added our template, we have our negative control, and we can put these in the thermocycler according to the conditions that are um, appropriate for the primers.